Tinsley and it's Halloween and you have all of this leftover candy corn and what are you gonna do with it? Okay, you could just eat it, but I have a better idea. We're going to make Butterfinger Bites. For this recipe, you're going to need 16 ounces or one pound of candy corn, 18 ounces of crunchy peanut butter, and one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips with one tablespoon of shortening. I only have butter flavored shortening, so we're gonna go with that. The first step is to melt your candy corn in the microwave. Use 30 second increments until it is melted. This is after the first 30 seconds. Now the time it takes to melt this candy corn in your microwave depends on the power of your microwave, so just be really careful because you just wanna melt it and not burn it. All right, so here you have it. In my microwave, it took two minutes and 20 seconds. Now you want to immediately, I have a 1100 watt microwave, immediately pour in your peanut butter. And start mixing. It was starting to stiffen up on me, so I popped it back in the microwave for 20 seconds, and eh, it didn't help that much, but. Once you have it all mixed up, you want to spread it on a jelly roll pan. And a jelly roll pan is a 15 by 10 inch pan. You want to line it with parchment paper. And I sprayed the pan um, just mostly for these edges so it doesn't stick. Now we're just going to spread it out as evenly as possible. Be careful, it could be hot. All right, so once you have it rolled out completely, we're gonna set that aside and start to work on the chocolate topping. So we're gonna take this one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, one tablespoon of shortening and pop it in the microwave for 15 second increments until it is nice and melty and smooth. The chocolate is all melty and the bowl is really hot, so be careful with that. Now I'm going to spread this on top of my Butterfinger bars, sorry. And it wouldn't be me if I didn't make a mess. Now you just need to let them cool down completely and let the chocolate and the peanut butter mixture set and harden and then you can cut into them. And I'll be back to show you what that looks like in just a second. Okay, so here you have the yummy Butterfinger bars, or I guess they're Butterfinger candy bars. I'm not quite sure what you wanna call them, but either way, they're a delicious way to use up leftover candy corn this Halloween. So if you try these out, let me know in the comment section below and take a picture of them and tag me on any one of my social media accounts. They are all listed in the description box below. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.